Here is my um, Ender 2 with the most recent upgrades. I'd say it's 99% ready. I only need to add a bed cooling fan, uh, which is the next step. To show you the new upgrades, we have the power supply unit cover, which I made it so that the fan guard is a separate unit so you can really get a position correct over the fan. You have a rear door which opens so that if you need to attach other accessories like lights and things, you can always get to it. There is a slot to tie it in with a cable tie in case you want to secure it for safety. There's an on-off switch. That keeps it shut off when you want to shut off your power supply. It's actually very quiet because I put a Noctua fan in there. You can't hear it, but it's actually on. And then I've got the control box right here. This one right here has its power on, has an SD card, large size converter from the micro. It wires around inside. There's an opening for the micro USB, and then there's a switch for the LED lights. The LED lights are mounted on the rear of the X gantry, that you see right here. And they really light up the print bed very well. Some other upgrades. I did insulate the underside of the print bed very thoroughly. And I made a cable retainer clip after I read about a few people who had horror stories of the heater cable breaking off due to stress and short circuiting. On the extruder, I didn't do much other than printing a new extruder head that would accept a coupling that allows the Bowden tube to pass through. And I was able to get the two Bowden tubes very close to each other with a V-notch in each. So I could pl print flexible filaments. Have this cable holder downloaded from the internet. By the way, that, the um, extruder top, and even the bed leveling knobs, I downloaded all those from Thingiverse for the others. The rest I made. A little filament cleaning box. Uh, one other thing to note that I did wire a extra wire into the K-Fan connector so it's ready to go when I want to put a fan on the heat bed. So my next and probably last modification will be to get rid of this metal cover and put on a blower with a fan under the heat bed. And, uh, and that's it. That's my Ender 2. You can get most of these files off of my Thingiverse site. Thank you.